Hello everyone, this is Game Master Mike, and I am going to do the top 6 worst video games in my collection, so bad that you're going to have to barf. Now I got, I picked out the 6 very bad video games in my collection that are either awful, hard to defeat, or just awful, that the controllers are just plain awful. Now, as you can see, here are some six games that I'm going to review. I am going to do a countdown. Starting off with number six. Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures for the Sega Genesis. Yes. Basically, you control Pac-Man. Namco was trying to do an experiment with a um, platformer. Well, um, that did not work. But... Um, you control Pac-Man by a slingshot, you grab items from it, and also in this game you can also um, play the classics Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Junior Pac-Man. Well, as you can tell that, um, you know, um, when he's pissed off, he won't listen to you. Yeah. He gets, like, really pissed off easily in this game. Well, he doesn't pay more attention to you, and um, you control by um, having to look at him and everything so yes this game I'm gonna say is awful and he can't basically jump by hitting him with the slingshot well um, that's how it is alright number five Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles now this is an awful shooter um, side scroller <clears throat> As you can see, um, you control Chris Redfield and some other people. And uh, basically, um, the final boss, if you screw up on this game very badly, then you got to reset the entire game. You cannot reset the chapters or anything. You just have to start all over from the beginning. Yeah, I played this once and I got t to the final boss without any ammo. You cannot restart the chapter or anything. So this is just um, just not great. I'd prefer the other Resident Evil series coming out. That's I mean that's out now. Cannot wait till Resident Evil 6 to come out. Alrighty then. Number four will be Doom for the Sega 32X. Now I like the other Doom games. The one on the Super Nintendo is very more improvements and the music is better than this one. The music here sucks. I'm telling you the controllers and the shooting is delayed everything in this game. Not like the other Doom games. It's just plain awful. The stages, some of the stages are like glitchy and everything. So yes, I do not prefer um, D Doom for the Sega 32X. I'd prefer it for the Super Nintendo or even the Atari Jaguar, which I've heard is um, the silent Doom with no music. Alrighty then. Number 3. Fable 3 for the Xbox 360. Now, they have gone completely wrong with uh, Fable 3. They tried to make it like to the first Fable as possible. Well, um, Fable 2 was an improvement, but Fable 3, come on now. Like, if you're in the middle of something or on a quest, you gotta go back to the guild to either level up or save. Yes, you open treasure chests to level up and everything, and um, the gameplay sucks, because um, you don't know when you're gonna level up or everything, you just have to, like... Say, oh, I must have leveled up. I must have gone, gone back to the guild. Well, um, apparently, um, um, I really do like the collector's edition box because it comes with, um, in a big book and it comes with, like, cards and a medallion. So, um, so if you plan it on, um, I would not recommend this game to anyone. Um, get Fable 2. It's much better than Fable 3. Well, um, but, um, yeah, the gameplay is just awful. Alright, number two. Sonic the Hedgehog 360. This game is damn awful. All the stages must be glitchy. I die all the time. It is very frustrating. 
and um, it is um, the um, story mode is I mean the um, story is all right but the gameplay is ass yes because um, uh, the controllers are like all glitchy they are um, you run too fast you run into walls you basically die all the time and it's just that it's a really awful Sonic game and I am, and I'm glad Sonic games are going back to 2D. I think this is what did it with um, 3D Sonic games. So, um, I played it and um, managed to beat it. Well, um, this is the uh, Family Platinum Hits version. And it's like a uh, game within a game. Because why do they show a box art cover inside of a box art cover. Now, that does not make any sense whatsoever. Alrighty, then that was number two. Now, the worst video game in my collection. Probably one of the worst out there. And that is... Superman 64 for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, that's right. Gameplay is the most awful on this game that I've ever played. Now, like AVGN says, you fly three rings, pick up cars. Fly three rings, pick up cars. Same with the training mode and any other modes. Seriously. If you like, go through the ring and there's one second left. It doesn't count. You still lose. Yeah. That's right. And the uh, water... And everything is all awful. The glitches, I think, are out of control and everything. And it is just unbeatable. Yeah, that's right. I uh, managed to get past level 3, but level 4, just awful. Um, well, you can punch in this game, but what do you punch? And um, I think I've seen the ending to um, Superman 64. Uh, possibly the worst ending in any video games out there. I'd say this is probably, besides E.T. and Cheetah Man 2, the worst video game out there. By the way, not too long ago I found this like at a um, vintage game store for a, a dollar. Yeah. And it's pretty bad. I've seen some reviews. Well, folks, there you go. That is my... Um, top six worst video games in my collection and um thank you for watching this countdown and i will do more soon